another vlog. Not a fan of instant coffee, but it does the job. I'm welcoming you guys to a nice, chilled video. So sit back, put your feet up, maybe get a crappy cup of coffee like me, and enjoy. I knew that there was something up. <laughs> I need to. How long does it take you to get ready? The amount of footage I've wasted on this. I know. <laughs> Recycling while doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Yes. Come on. Where's that? Close it. Place? Yes. <laughs> That's absolutely fantastic. You could start a whole like campaign to recycle. I could. From this, this might be the genesis of a global recycling movement. It could be. The youth of today could get behind recycling. <laughs> <laughs> in full swing. We're building up this new routine that we've been working on for the World Cup. That's at the start of March. It's in Qatar, Doha. I'm excited to get out competing again and showcase this new routine because I've been working hard on it. We've adapted it to the new code of points, so it should be something like brand new that you've never seen from me before. So here's the deal with floor at the minute. So as you may already know, I was having some back issues on floor. My back was just getting a little bit too sore for comfort. So I went and see my physios and my doctors and things were getting better. But then I went and got an MRI scan on my back just to make sure that there was no stress fractures or to see what was actually wrong with my back. When the scans came back, there was some inflammation around the joints in my lower back. So that's kind of what the MRI scan reads, if there's any irritation of any bones anywhere in, um, in the place that you're getting scanned. So I was advised by my doctor and my physio just to take a couple of weeks of break from floor and that's exactly what I've done. So I'm trying to slowly build up back on the floor, test out my back and also just kind of get my legs just to bounce on the bottom floor. We'll be doing very basic things today. And yes, this means that I won't be competing floor at the upcoming World Cups, which is disappointing. At the same time, I was excited to kind of test out the waters on competing floor again. But the plan stays the same. I still want to compete floor this year, so we'll slowly build up, make sure I'm injury free because that's the main thing, and see if we can make this floor thing work. And you know, the psychology of being injured is quite interesting because I've worked for hours on end working on floor and showing you guys what my progress has been on floor and now it's kind of all gone, for now anyway. But this is gymnastics, this is sport as well. Anything can happen and you can only be grateful that nothing worse has happened. So I'm glad that I've got medical staff around me that can spot these injuries before it's too late. And taking their medical advice is super important because if I don't take their medical advice, it'll just get worse and worse until I can't do floor at all. So I'd much rather stop for a couple of weeks, rest up, see if it heals, get another scan, and then get stuck back into work. See, we're seeing the positives of everything. Do the 
with this ad, I thought. Time to watch some gymnastics videos. So here we go, the 2010 World Championships Pommel Horse Final. I've watched many Pommel Horse Finals in my time, but I have never kind of, I've, I've watched it when it came out, but I never re-watched it in detail, so this will be quite new actually for me to see. A very strong lineup for this final. Christian Berkey, Lewis Smith, yeah, all the Pommel Horse guys are in this final. It's not like an all-rounder sneaked in or anything. They're all Pommel Horse specialists and that makes for a very exciting final. Up first, the man himself, Christian Berkey, a very decorated palm horse worker, one of the greatest of all times, and straight into that sheer work, the textbook, textbook scissor work on palm horse, it's amazing. And then just throughout his whole routine, he's so smooth. There's just not one form break or hesitation anywhere. Everything's just so nice and smooth. Actually, apart from that spindle, I just, I hate spindles as a skill. I think it just breaks the routine up, the flow of the routine up completely. Up in the dismount, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, Prashanth Salatharai, Australian gymnast, a very good pommel horse worker, Commonwealth Games champion in 2010. And this man's speed, will impress you to say the least. Look at how fast he's going. It's just ridiculous. I think his body type is just so suited to going fast on Palma Horse. He's a very small gymnast, so with the smaller levers, he's able just to go quicker. And what a routine, man. Great routine from Rashad there. Up next was Sasho, good friend of mine I've got to know over the years. He starts with a son, little bit off balance there. And then that's his own skill, the Sonda one handle. Oh, ah, he's off. He's off. It's a shame because he just does such beautiful execution on the palm horse. But just look at his circle extension on them travels up into the handstand dismount. Just beautiful work, man. Another person who does pretty beautiful circles is Philip Uda. Just really stretches out that chest, stretches out his hips, and it just looks like He's a feather floating on pommel horse. Up in the handstand, and that was a good routine. Very good routine. That was probably one of the best routines I've seen from Philip Boudet. Cyril Thomason from France, another great pommel horse worker. Oh, and I'm remembering something about this routine. Look at his first two skills. Scissor to handstand. Scissor to handstand. Now, they wouldn't be counted as handstands in this current code of points, but back then, in 2010, the code didn't specify if you should put your legs together at the top of the handstand or not. It just allowed you to do a handstand with your legs apart. But obviously, they caught on that it is much easier to do a handstand with your legs apart, so they made it a rule that you have to put them together. Just handstand this mount needs done. Whoa! I think he was falling there. He was falling and then he had to like spin round on one hand to save it. Well covered up though. Fair play to him. Well, well, the man himself, Lewis Smith. Now you'll see a bit of a contrast from his pace to Pashant Salafari's pace. Lewis is a lot slower in his palm horse work, but still beautiful work nonetheless. He just looks so controlled throughout the whole routine, really. Again, don't like that spindle. Yeah, he just, he's in control. That's why he goes so slow, I think, because he can just control every single movement. Generally makes the Palma horse routine a bit more challenging endurance-wise, but Lewis has obviously been able to keep it together all these years. Up in the dismount, his own unique pirouette sequence there. Beautiful, beautiful routine. And he had the start value as well. He had the difficulty in there, so that should play us on top three. It's always been Lewis Smith and Christian Berkey neck to neck. They were of the same generation and it was so exciting growing up and watching those gymnastics competitions. Seeing them go head to head every single time because they're both from Europe, so every European Championships they were in there and every World and Olympic Games they were there too. Oh, that's just not enough, that first place position. Prashant still hanging on to third. Christian Berkey in the top spot. Donna, Donnie, 
probably the only one in this pong horse found that I never got to compete against. Again, great shape on a circle. This kind of generation was actually really good at circle shape. But when you do try to push for that extended circle on pommel horse, it just increases the risk of falling off because it increases your speed, it increases the height above the pommel horse, and the more you do that, it's just harder to stay on. So if you ever do see somebody whose hips are piked in and their bum is close to the pommel horse, then that's because they're just trying to stay on more than anything and not trying to show off that execution score. Oh! He's not gonna get that handstand dismount. Because he paused and let his legs drop on the handstand dismount, that just won't get counted. If he was to even pause and continue to keep going up in the handstand, then it would be counted, but because he let his feet drop back down, it, it won't get counted in the difficulty, so that's him off the, off the metal table. Which leaves one Armenian gymnast, Harutium. He's always been consistently up there though with the pommel horse workers. Oh, and just didn't switch his hand round on that one handle for the Russian. Decent routine though, but not enough to place on the medals. So that means that Christian Berkey was the 2010 world champion. Lewis Smith in second, Prashant Salatharai in third. Well, that was fun. I'm glad you guys could join me on this viewing because this is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Watch old Palmer Horse finals, watch old floor finals, and just gymnastics full stop, so I hope you enjoyed watching with me. I hope everybody enjoyed this little video. I gave the reaction video a bit of a go, so if you enjoyed seeing me pretty much react to that 2010 Palmer Horse final, let me know if you enjoyed it in the comment section, or if you hated it, let me know also. It's a good, productive Tuesday. Thank you for following along. If you would like to see more exclusive content, such as podcasts or different vlogs, click on the link in the description for the Patreon and become a member. And thank you to the existing Patreon supporters. You help support the channel and my journey a huge amount. I hope everybody has a great rest of the week. Stay positive, keep smiling, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.